Tournament watch is heating up as we're only a week away from Selection Sunday. Time to discuss who belongs and who doesn't in this edition of Tourney Watch. I'm Raven Gerardo, and joining me on the phone is one of our college basketball writers, Ryan Fagan. Ryan, I know you went to see Wichita State, and they finished their season undefeated. What fate have they sealed for themselves going into the tournament? Well, this seals up the number one seed. You know, there are a lot of people that said if they weren't undefeated, uh, they shouldn't be a number one seed. There were even some people that said if they are undefeated, they shouldn't be a number one seed. But I think combining what they've done, I mean, to go undefeated through the regular season and go 3-0 and and win the Missouri Valley Conference with three convincing victories, you know, I don't think there's any doubt in my mind they absolutely should be a number one seed. And the committee is going to see it that way, too. How far do you see this team going in the tournament, Ryan? Well, you know, I think that Wichita State has a very good chance of getting back to the to the Final Four, making a run similar to what they did last year. It won't be as surprising uh, when they did it last year as a number nine seed. But this is a team that has a great point guard in Fred Van Vliet. They have a lot of guys back from that team that made the Final Four run. They have decent bigs down low. They have a star-type player in Clee Anthony Early. Tekel Cotton is a fantastic defender. Ron Baker to make shots and do, do a lot of things uh, from his position on the wing. And you just look at this team and there aren't any glaring weaknesses. They may not be the most superior talented team in the tournament, but this is a team that's not going to beat themselves and they're going to take advantage of your mis mistakes. And that's an, those are a couple important qualities for the NCAA tournament. All right, Ryan, have fun. Thank you for your time.